Welcome to the deep stretch hip flexors and quads routine. Today, you'll need a strap or some kind of belt, a bolster or a dense cushion, and a folded up blanket. Place your props to the right of your mat or pause here if you need some time. We'll start on our backs in Supta Baddha Konasana. Take your time as you settle in. Put the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall open. And take a few deep breaths to relax and soften. If your inner thighs are tight and pulling at your lower back, you can always slide some blankets or pillows underneath your thighs to prop up your legs. Find the place that is comfortable for you so you can focus on letting go and not forcing or holding. Engage your lower abs and gently pull your knees back together. For happy baby pose, pull your knees into your chest and thread your hands between your knees to grab onto your feet. If your lower back or shoulders are peeling up, then try grabbing the backs of your knees instead. And if it feels good, you can rock a little side to side to massage out the muscles in your lower back. For half happy baby, hold on to your right foot and release your left leg to extend long down on the mat. Take your left hand to your left hip to keep both hips grounding down and find a deep, smooth and slow breath that will inflate and deflate your whole body as your hip softens. Reach your left hand across to grab onto your right knee. Release your right arm to reach straight out from your side and use your left hand to pull your right knee across your body for a supine spinal twist. Use big, deep breaths to help you massage the twist into your body. For the Bretzel variation, Bend your left knee and reach your right hand down to grab onto your left ankle. You might need to inch from your left knee back a couple of inches if you scrunched up to make the connection, and you can always use a strap as an extension between your ankle and hand. Relax wherever you are, less forcing. And try to breathe in such a way it's as if you can feel your breath wash away the tension from your left hip flexor and quad. Gently release your bretzel first, then undo your twist and come back to happy baby pose. Grabbing both of your feet and ground your hips down. Even though your arms are long and pulling, try to ground your shoulders down too so you're not pulling your neck or upper back off the mat.
for half happy baby. Keep your left foot and extend your right leg long down on the mat. Place your right hand on your right hip as a reminder to keep it grounded. And find that breath that's deep, slow, and smooth. Reach your right hand across to grab onto your left knee. Then release your left arm long straight up from your side and use your right hand to pull your knee across the body as you settle into your twist. Let your breath be so deep you can feel your belly rise and fall, even within your twist. For the bretzel variation, Bend your right leg and reach down with your left hand to grab onto your ankle. Ideally, your right knee is still in line with your spine, so feel free to inchworm around you until you find a similar posture that you took on the other side. Notice if you're gripping or tensing anywhere, like in your jaw or shoulders, and just let that go. Allow yourself to soften what you have control of so the rest of your body, including your quads and hip flexors, can follow suit. Gently release your bretzel first, then undo your twist. And pull both knees into your chest to rock out little circles on your lower back as a way to reset. Roll over onto one side and press yourself up to seated. Place your folded blanket across the mat about where your knees would go and come into a tabletop position with your knees on the blanket. Then lift your hips high and press back into downward facing dog with any movement that might feel good for you. Lower your knees back down onto the blanket into a tabletop for about three cat-cow spinal waves. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin, and exhale to round your spine. And two more, just follow the pace of your own breath. Inhale to open, exhale to close. Come back to a neutral spine and step your right foot forward so your knee is stacked over your ankle. Prop up on fingertips and press your heart forward as you broaden out your upper back. Breath is deep and slow. Slowly rise and plant your hands on your right knee. Make sure your pelvis is neutral and your lower belly is pulling in. 
You can always take your hand to your lower belly just to make sure. And you can stay here if you want, or you can go a bit further by reaching your arms up and lengthen from your back knee to the crown of your head. Even here, your pelvis is neutral, so you're not dumping into your hips. But you should feel quite a bit of lengthening in your left hip flexor and even the psoas. Keep your breath deep and smooth to maintain a sense of calm and control. Release both hands down to the mat and reach your right hand back to grab onto your left ankle. You can always use a strap to lengthen your reach. Just hold on and relax what you don't need, like shrugging in your shoulders or a clenched jaw. If you want to try something different, release your left ankle and place your right forearm on your right thigh as you reach your left hand back to grab onto your left ankle. And if you're feeling flexible here, you could always add a mermaid variation to this posture, like from the deep hip opening videos. Now gently release and make your way back to tabletop then downward facing dog to pedal out your legs. Just pump into your heels. Come back to tabletop and this time step your left foot forward, ankle under knee. Prop up on your fingertips and lengthen your heart forward as you broaden out your shoulders. Now place your hands on your front thigh as you sink into your right hip. In this position, if your belly is falling out, then you're just resting in your joints. Let this be an active posture, so your lower abs are engaged and you're supported in your hips. If you want to go further, reach both arms overhead and lengthen into the gentle hip opening and back bend. And take about five deep, slow breaths. Release your hands back down to the mat for the quad opener. Reach your left hand back to grab onto your right ankle or strap it up. Then rest, breathe, and allow your hip and quad to soften.
If you did on the other side, release your right ankle and place your left forearm on your left thigh as you reach your right arm back to grab onto your right ankle. This is gonna be a little bit of balance as well as the hip opening. Allow yourself to feel grounded so you can really work into that hip and even the little bit of a back bend. Take your time as you release and make your way back to tabletop. Then downward facing dog and pump into your heels. Move your blanket to the side of your mat and step all the way through to lie down on your back. Keep your knees bent so your feet are flat. And pull your heels in so your fingertips can just barely touch your heels, setting up a bridge pose. First, a traditional bridge. Just lift your hips up, press your knees forward. Weight is pressing down evenly through your feet. And then slide your bolster underneath your hips so that it's propping up your pelvis. Then rest your body weight on the bolster. And move around until you find a place that's comfortable for you. Then extend both legs long, down on the mat, like Shavasana. But if you're uncomfortable or your back is tensing here, then take your feet flat on the mat and try butterfly legs instead. Find a deep, steady breath that grounds you. That reminds your body to soften and relax. so you can soften and relax. and you're welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. If you're ready to move on, just bring your feet flat to the mat, lift your hips up and slide the bolster down into the space between your hips and ankles. Lower your hips back down and let the bolster support your knees as a way to let your lower back reset. Take your hands anywhere that's comfortable and just rest. And that's it for the quad and hip flexor deep stretch. If you want to move on to the deep stretch hips video, click the link on the screen or down below, and you can always create a playlist so the videos just play back to back, or check out my restorative yoga playlist for the rest of the deep stretch series and more videos like this. Thanks for joining me today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time.